Thank you. Hello. I'd like to thank everyone who said fuck because I brought my children here tonight. <laughs> I thought I was going to tell my story, I was really embarrassed, but now they've heard worse, so it's cool. Um, I have done a lot of things. I got my first job as a paper boy when I was 14. I was telling some friends before the show tonight in preparation for tonight, I was thinking about my career, as uh, we're supposed to call it, and, I, and I've had 23 jobs in 26 years. Um, what's amazing about that is that I've had longevity. I've, I've, Two of those jobs I was at for a combined for a combined 14 years. So I mean, it's in the other you know 12 I fucked around a lot. Uh, but this particular job is one that I just remembered today. I was I was uh, thinking, oh my god, I had a 24th job that I just completely remembered, and that is, and I want to know if this resonates with anyone. I was I worked for a company called Vector Marketing. Yeah, yeah, you've all, you've all, so Vector Marketing is also known as uh, the parent company of Cutco. Uh, uh, you know, you come to people's houses and you sell them knives. Um, the patented Double D Edge is what you're selling to these people, and I happen to work at a, a Cutco office. This was uh, between the freshman and sophomore years of college. I thought I was the shit. I was the top salesperson in our office. And I worked with this incredibly hot girl named Megan, who was the second best salesperson in the office. Um, well, there were only four of us, and the other two, I'm not making this up, were Richie and Ricky, and they were twin brothers. Um, so it was me and Megan, who constantly wore her hair up um, in like a little, I, I guess, bun on top of her head, but she had like, you know, like, uh, chopsticks in it all the time. It's really fucking cool stuff that, that nobody did in 1993. Um, and I thought she was beautiful and I started calling her Pebbles, named after the Flintstones character. I just thought, I'm gonna score with Pebbles and then sell some knives. <laughs> now I was, growing up, I was never cool, but I've always known that um, I had this one kind of trump card that I've always been able to, to be funny. People always thought I was funny. I always cracked a joke. I always had good comedic timing. I've done comedy, etc. I wanted Pebbles to like me so much. We were in the office one day, and our boss, Dan, whom everybody um, called Dickhead Dan, <laughs> was... And for good reason. Now, Dickhead Dan got that name because Dan, and I'm sorry if you're this guy, but I can't tolerate you, and most people can't either, just to be honest with you. Dan was the kind of guy that would be like, I'm sorry, I have a conference call in 10. I've got to circle back and touch base, and I've got to make sure my agenda's in order. Um, and we'd all be like, dude, you supervise like four college kids. <laughs> so, simultaneously, a lot of things are happening. Dan is being dickhead Dan. I am sitting next to Pebbles like sucker. And Richie and Ricky are, I don't know what Richie and Ricky are doing, but they're there as well. Dan is giving us a lesson on sales. So it's my first real sales job. I've done lots of other sales jobs since then, and I didn't learn anything from dickhead Dan, so I'm not gonna give him credit. But I'm, I'm in the little pseudo office with the whiteboard, and Dan is giving us his approach to how he got to be the supervisor. He wants us to all model ourselves after him. Obviously, he's very successful. So he draws this little, you know, stick figure and writes, Dan, right? And he draws another stick figure on the whiteboard and he writes, customer, right? Well, then, of course, Dan's boss calls and he's got, I got to take this call. Sorry. So he leaves. And I decide, this is my moment. R reminder, I'm not cool. But I can be funny. So I get up, and I'm like, hey, Pebbles, watch this. And I take the marker, and I erase the little circle that is the head of Dan. And I draw a gigantic penis <laughs> on the whiteboard. Dickhead Dan. 
Pretty funny, right? Richie and Ricky are cracking up. Pebbles is like, oh, Michael, I'll call you later. Um, <laughs> in my haste to get up and be cool, I, uh, I took a Sharpie <laughs> and I threw this phallus in permanent marker on the whiteboard. So Dan comes back, and I'm not kidding you, he saw the whiteboard, and he turned around, and he was not even angry, he was shocked more than anything. I, um, I looked at her, at Pebbles, and I said, I'll see you later. And I left, and I never went back to that job. 